Uh, that's down in, uh, well, we're going to have this Hank Aaron Invitational. It's down in Vero Beach, Florida. They're going to basically top it off with a big game Sunday at True House Park. Some of the best amateur players in the country. A lot of former Major League players there as instructors, including Hall of Famer Dave Winfield, uh, one of those guys who could play a million sports, played basketball at the University of Minnesota, drafted by all the four majors. Well, not hockey, but obviously the NBA and the NFL and the Padres, of course, too. Dave, it's a pleasure. Great to have you with us again. Lots to do here. Uh, was it a no-brainer with the Padres in 73? Did you give the either the Atlanta Hawks or the Utah Stars even a Vikings, did you give him any consideration coming out of college there at the University of Minnesota? How about that first? And no, nah, not not really. You know, you have to use all the the tools in your kit for bargaining. But baseball was what I set my sights on when I was 12 years old. You know, professional baseball player. But I was drafted by all the other sports. It, it was unprecedented back then, and it still is today. But uh, I ended up with the right choice, playing 22 years professional baseball. Who does that in any sport? 100% Hall of Famer, the whole nine yards champion and what have you. How about going to San Diego in the early days of that franchise? I mean, you know, an old Jack Murphy Stadium that was a bad team with the Dodgers and Giants and teams the Reds in that NL West. Give me some thoughts about that early. I was sort of a, yeah, a great place to play, but a bad team and an expansion team too, Dave. How about that? Let me hear. Oh, boy, 1973 Padres, only four years in the, you know, in the major league circuit. And uh, uh, let's just say sometimes people were too old to be very good or too young to be very good. But it really yeah. gave me the opportunity to go direct directly from major, uh, college, uh, College World Series. And then the next week, I'm on the field playing against guys like Willie Mays and Hank Aaron and those kind of things. So my eyes were big as saucers. I had a lot to learn. And uh, the Padres gave me the opportunity to come to the dance. And I did my thing. You had to. Uh, yeah, I had over 3,000 hits. Who would you get your first one against? I'm sure you remember back in 73. Who was your first base knock against? Oh, wow. Good question. I have the baseball. It was... Uh, it was against the Houston Astros. That, that's a great question. I can't really remember, but I'll tell you. How about this? Well, it was against the Astros, The first though. hit was, it was against the Astros. Yep. Part. Okay. Yeah. So my first hit, I smashed the ball off the uh, Doug Raider's glove at third. He was a gold glover back then. And I remember him scrambling to his feet, firing the first. The throw was high to Lee May at first base. And big Dave Winfield, his first major league hit, I slid head first into first base. How about that? Wow, and because I didn't know go. what it took. I love that one. Yeah, man. And there's no, I know there's no videotape they didn't <laughs> of that, but that was truly my first major league hit. And who knew I'd have 3,109 more after that? 100%. All right, was it a no brainer to go to the Yankees when Steinbrenner wooed you there in the late 70s? Was it a no brainer? Was it a no brainer? I'm sorry. Um, it, it Look, at the time, I had to go to a place that had a chance to win because it wasn't about just money or saying I'm going to stay in the same place forever. It was I, I had to try to win. I'm an all-star player by that time. I had four, you know, all-star appearances. And it was like, oh, man, how can I get on a team that has a chance to win? And, you know, there was a lot of good stuff with the Yankees and there was a lot on the other side of the ledger as well. And it's well uh, noted, but that was the second step in my career. Uh, a couple of things on the Yankees, and we're not going to get into the George thing with Spira, but how about you and Mattingly at the batting race mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the year? I've talked to Don about that a lot. He said you're one of his best ever teammates, and that was a great race with he, you, and Wade Boggs there at the end in the early 80s to win a batting championship. How about that for a sec? Let me hear. Well, I mean, if I hear hear you clearly, uh, Don Mattingly and I were friends. We were going, you know, the team wasn't playing very well. So the people were coming to watch two guys play very well, you know, two of the league's leading hitters. And um, there was a lot that was going on on uh, my behalf, you know, 
I don't want to get into it here, depositions and everything else, but you come to the ballpark and you give your best. And um, I ended up, let's see, I hit 340 and Don Mattingly, I think 341, 342. So that's not too bad by two teammates. No, not bad at all, 100%. You had to win a championship somewhere else. You played for the Yankees for a long time. You had a couple of opportunities, 85 late with the Blue Jays, a good race. Uh, but you won one with Toronto. Did you feel like you got redemption, that you finally won your World's Championship away from Steinbrenner and New York in the 80s? Give me your thoughts on that. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily just call redemption at first. I'd say I fulfilled a dream. Uh, from from my youth, I always wanted to, uh, I mean, that's how you finish every practice every day. Men on base, you get a hit, two outs, World Series, you walk off champions. So it took me a long time, almost a, a generation, two decades, but I was able to reach my dream. And, um, and you know, just despite things that were said earlier in my career, I was able to play on a good team, had a lot of fun. And we reached the pinnacle. So that's probably the highlight of my major league career. 92 Blue Jays beat Atlanta. You saw the hit by Dave in game six down at Fulton County. And uh, Dave referring to the, you know, the mm -hmm. George moniker, Mr. May, which I'm sure drove him nuts. You wore the, um, you wore the Padre hat at Cooperstown. Was that sort of an anti-Yankee thing? Or did you think because the Padres gave you your first opportunity, that was the correct way to go? Let me hear your thoughts there. No, 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 no. We, we, the San Diego Padres drafted me out of uh, college, and I was the, it was the first team I played for. They gave me the opportunity, and um, so they brought me to the dance, so they deserved to have me as their first Hall of Famer. And deserve so. I agree with that. That's a good selection. All right, yeah. instructing here, you know, as Aaron said a long time ago, it was good to steal an athlete away from any other sport to get him to play baseball, which you could have done a million things. And Henry said that about you. And now, of course, you're teaching these players how to play and maybe be college players and professionals down the road. How about this experience here at this Henry Aaron Invitational down in, I know you're hot, but let me hear it down in uh, Vero Beach. Let me get some thoughts there. Well, again, it's, it's, um, if I hear your question clearly, our, our reception isn't really good. Um, but I'm down here in Vero Beach, and um, we're doing the, what they call a Hank Aaron Invitational. And it's one of the, um, the best joint programs between Major League Baseball, the Players Association, and I'm on the board of the Youth Development Foundation. So we put all of our efforts together, bring... 250 kids over a two-week period down here, and uh, we, we put a lot of resources towards their benefit, uh, and these are largely African-American kids, those that don't get the same opportunities as others, and um, you have, you bring together some of the best talented coaches, people with major league experience, people who are dedicated to developing these young kids. You bring them together. So it's an extraordinary week for two sets of kids. And uh, so I come down here and give them a little knowledge, break them off a little knowledge, as they say. And uh, it's so it's fun. I look forward to this day and this evening when we have dinner with these kids. So it's an exceptional time. And I look forward to this time of the year. Excellent job. Uh, excellent, Dave. And by the way, your first hit, Jerry Royce. There you go. Lefty Jerry Royce yeah, there you go. of Houston, your first big league hit. How about that? There you go. How about that? Thank you. I that appreciate is, uh, that. Dave, it's great. To, you got it. You got it. And it's great to talk to you again. Keep up the good work. Always a pleasure to have you on. Appreciate you coming on today. I appreciate it. Take care. See you.